So there's, there's a challenge, you know, the idea of the old school football mentality that's just hit, 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 that's, that, that's all that matters. It's, it's something that, that a lot of people still talk about, but I think it's more a perception from the outside. You know, we, we talk about our kids playing a very intelligent brand of football, but we also talk to them about playing a very uh, emotionally intelligent, emotionally intelligent brand of football, which is pretty powerful. Uh, we want them to see what's going on with their opponents. We want them to be learning at every turn, and we need them to be mentally tough. One of the great things about football is that it does require a certain ability to handle contact. And then we're talking about explosive contact, not being elbowed in the paint, you know, not being you know, pushed aside on the soccer field, but really being able to be physical. And that requires a certain type of mental toughness. Uh, and we believe that that mental toughness can be cultivated uh, through things that are not just hitting. We believe we cultivate mental toughness through things like challenging our kids to be better people in the classroom and better people on the, you know, on the field and better people in the community and really being able to handle situations that are challenging with class and with character. So you know, mental toughness and cultivating that comes in handy much later in life as we talked about before. Um, but at the end of the day, there's so much more to football than just the hitting, but that unique physical component really makes coaching football a lot of fun because we believe that kids begin to form an identity as somebody who can weather not only the mental but the physical storm.